Color is extremely important in photography, and if the color of a portrait is wrong, it's gonna make your subject look a little bit off. Today's video, we're gonna show you how to correct color in portraiture to help your subject look their best. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and today we've got four different examples showing you how to completely correct color in Photoshop. Let's jump in. So here are the four examples. We're gonna start with this image here. Let's hit F for full screen and go ahead and zoom in. Now we're gonna be using color balance adjustment layers. So let's go up here to the very top. Let's go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over here to color balance. Fantastic, and hit okay. Now with your color balance adjustment layer, be sure to go to your properties panel. And here we can see you can adjust your shadows, midtones, and highlights. I recommend starting with your highlights, then moving through your midtones, then going to your shadows. Let's go ahead and click on highlights. Now you can see we've got three sliders here. We've got cyan to red, we've got magenta to green, and we've got yellow to blue. Now, the big tip here is that you want to move these sliders around while focusing on your subject. Don't look at the sliders. Those are not that important. We want to make sure to stay focused on your subject. So let's go ahead and show you how to do it. Now, we're going to start with our slider here. Let's go ahead to the top, cyan to red slider. Just go ahead and click there and start moving to the left or the right. Now, as I do this, there we go. I'm just looking at my subject. I'm not looking at the slider at all. I'm literally just looking at my subject. You can see too far to the left, it looks way too cyan. Too far to the right, it looks way too red. But somewhere right about there, it starts to look really good. There we go. Now we're going to move to our next slider between magenta and green. And again, here I'm literally just looking at my subject. There we go. Let's look at our blue to yellow slider. And something right about there looks really good as well. Color is incredibly subjective. So you might have different values here than I do. That's totally okay. And you can choose to make your image a little bit warmer, make it look like a little bit more of a summertime image. You can make it look cooler, which will make it look a little bit more cold, like a winter type image. That's totally okay. But we want to get rid of any type of color casts that are going to make our subject look a little bit too green or too magenta. That's not going to do our subject any favors. Let's go ahead from highlights. We're going to move into our midtones. And then again, I'm just going to click on this slider and move it to the left and the right. But while I do this, I'm just looking at my subject. Moving into magenta and green. There we go. And from yellow to blue. So over here, we have much too much yellow, way too much blue. I'm just looking for the point where our subject's skin starts to look nice and natural. There we go. Let's move into our shadows. And we're going to go through our sliders again. Cyan and red. There we go. Looks good. Fantastic. Our green and magenta. There we go. And then our yellow and blue. Fantastic. And here we go. Let's go to our layers panel. Just turn this off and on. I'm just going to use this eyeball here to go to the before and the after. With one adjustment layer, we've completely corrected our color in our photos. So again, don't pay attention to the sliders. Just click and kind of drag it to the left or the right while looking at your subject. Let's move into our next image. So in this case, we're trying to get rid of our green color cast. Let's go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over here to color balance. And hit OK. We're going to start the same way like we did last time, the highlights. We're just going to click here and move to the left or the right. And again, I'm looking at my subject's skin. I'm not super concerned about the rest of my photo. I'm looking at my subject's skin to make sure her skin looks nice and natural. There we go. Fantastic, and already we're looking much better. So that's our highlights. Let's move here to our midtones. We're just going to click and drag our sliders from the left to the right. Fantastic, and beautiful. And as I go to the right, already we're looking so much better. Let's move here into our shadows. Click and drag to the left to the right. There we go. Fantastic. Green magenta slider and our yellow blue slider. There we go. I feel like that's looking really good. Let's go ahead and make that visible and invisible. Here's our before and the after. Huge, huge changes. Now from here, you can always grab an adjustment layer. You can go up to something like levels and maybe I'll just make our mid-tones mid -tones a little bit brighter. There we go. So that's looking much better. All right, let's go ahead and move into our third example. So here we wanna make our image a little bit warmer. Same process as before. Let's go up here to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and we're gonna to go to color balance. Again, hit okay. We're gonna start with our highlights. Let's go ahead and move our sliders from the left to the right. There we go, a little bit more red in our subject skin looks great. 
fantastic. And a little bit of yellow looks really good too. So this is gonna be a lot more subtle. There wasn't like huge problems with this image, but we wanna make our subject skin just look a little bit more warm and natural. There we go, beautiful. And let's move into our shadow colors. There we are. Little bit of red in our subject's shadows. Pull a little bit of magenta in there. And fantastic, that looks really, really good. So here's our before. And our after, we can see just some subtle adjustments, but our subject definitely looks better. All right, let's go ahead and move into our fourth and final example. So in this example, we wanna go ahead and correct the light first. So let's go to Layer, down to New Adjustment Layer, and to Levels, and we're gonna hit OK. In this case, I'm gonna just take my light levels, and we're just gonna bring these up, because our subject is just way too dark to start with. So that's looking much, much better. Now that we've corrected the light levels, we can start working on our color. And we're gonna do that again with a color balance adjustment layer. So let's go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over here to color balance. Let's hit okay. Now, again, we're gonna start with our highlights and just start moving these sliders to the left, the right. And again, just focusing on our subject skin. I'm not worried about anything else in this image. I'm just trying to make their skin look a nice, natural, beautiful color. Let's move into midtones. There we go. Fantastic. All right, and that's looking good. And then move into our shadows. And again, I'm just clicking to the left and the right to try to neutralize the colors in our subject's skin. Fantastic, a little bit of blue into the shadows look really, really good. So let's go ahead and turn these off. There's our before. And the after here, just the color work, you can see it pulls some of the green and some of the yellow out of the image to give our subject more natural looking skin. Now, all these images look much better in their after, but it's not a bad idea. Sometimes you'll look at an image and say, maybe I wanna do a little bit more work on the subject, that's totally okay. You can go back and revisit this. Maybe I'll go back to my color balance. Let's go to our midtones and say, you know what? Maybe I want even more magenta in our midtones. Maybe we want a little bit less red in those midtones, and maybe we want a little bit more blue. It's okay to go back and look at these images a second time to try to correct those colors because what happens is you kind of get used to looking at colors in your images and it can kind of mess with your head a little bit. So if you need to go ahead and take a break, come back again, look at this and then adjust those sliders one more time. And that's gonna ensure you get perfect colors in your photos. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up and let me know in a comment right down below what you'd like to see next. Thanks again. I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.